Hi Colin, it's Wednesday. In your last video, you decided to talk about orcas, also known as killer whales, also known as killer dolphins, and that is a topic that I know nothing about. So I'm really glad that you made that video, because it was actually an educational experience for me. I did go and watch that documentary, and yeah, there's a lot of bias present in that. However, at the same time, we can't just ent entirely discount the documentary, because it does bring up some good points about what it means to keep dangerous animals in captivity. Do we as people necessarily have the right to do that? And even if we don't have the right, what do we need to do about it now? I mean, what is our responsibility as the leaders of most of our food chains to other animals? This segues us really nicely into a topic that I've really been wanting to talk about to people on a grand scale. Basically what I want to talk about is the fact that humans buy and sell animals is really, really weird to me. Like, I've never been fully okay with the fact that I can just walk into a pet store whenever I want, slap some money down on the counter, and go, give me that living thing. And what's even weirder to me is the fact that this isn't more weird to other people. Now, Colin, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be some animal rights activist, because let's be honest, I like eating meat just as much as the next person, but at the same time, I can't shake the feeling that buying and selling living things is something that's not necessarily the best practice to get involved in. Intelligent viewers will notice that I'm talking around the issue of slavery here, because, you know, buying and selling people can be sort of compared to buying and selling animals, except for the whole, you know, humanity and spirits and religion. But that's not the point, because I don't want to get into that discussion, because I'll be here all day. So let's say you walk into your nearest pet store and you slap $5 down the counter and you say to the shopkeep, Mister, I'd like to buy your smallest, cutest, fluffiest animal that I can for $5. And the shopkeep then says, Sure, young man, here you are, our smallest, fuzziest little creature that you can buy for $5. Just make sure that you don't murder it. And the little boy says, Okay, sounds like a good plan. I don't want to make the argument that people shouldn't be allowed to care for other living things, but I would like to make the argument that we are notoriously bad at it. And the fact that any of us can basically walk into a store and buy another living thing, regardless of any sort of background or age for the most part, is pretty weird. I mean, I realize the fact that they're not letting five-year-olds walk in and buy a dog or anything, but they can still buy fish and still kill fish. And that still seems kind of weird to me. Also, the entire valuation system there just seems really weird. Like, I make $8.25 an hour, so the fact of the matter is, is that let's say I spend $20 on some fish, that's about two and a half hours of my life that is somehow worth the lives of several fish. It's weird. Honestly, I really just need someone to explain to me how we place a value on the lives of these animals. Why can I walk into a store and buy a mouse for like a dollar? That seems really weird to me. And what's even worse about all of it is, is that most people are totally okay with it. Like, I bring up this issue to people in conversation, and they're like, Sure, Kevin, that seems totally normal to me. Why would I ever consider that to be weird? I mean, I have a dog at home and three fish and four cats and five birds, and I own all of them. And I can stand there and go, yeah, you're being responsible, but at the same time, that's really weird that you own all of these living things and that that's okay and that you know exactly how much you paid for all of them and that they have some sort of monetary value. And yes, after you've had them for a while, they might have more sentimental value than necessarily monetary value in your mind, but at the same time, to someone out there, that has a price. Colin, Catholic's economics are really weird to me sometimes. I don't really want to start any debates, and I'm not saying that pet stores are evil or that people who own pets are evil or that pets are in any way a bad thing. I'm just saying that I personally find it kind of odd that you can buy and sell animals. Colin, let me know what you think about this whole buying and selling animals thing in your next video, and also what you think about the general practice of humans owning animals and taking care of animals in general. Are we responsible enough to do that? Can we even take care of ourselves? Should people be entrusted with the fate of these animals? And also essentially with the fate of the world because that's something that we've taken into our own hands? Let me know what you think and anyone else that wants to respond can do so either in the comments below or by messaging us. Colin, I'll see you tomorrow.